The Kodiak bear is a subspecies of grizzly bear native to the Kodiak archipelago in southwestern Alaska. Despite its massive size and reputation as a fierce predator, it is generally an opportunist and will eat a large variety of plant and animal species. Also known as the Kodiak brown bear or Alaskan brown bear, it is the largest subspecies of grizzly and among the largest bears on the planet, second only to the polar bear. The Kodiak bear appears very similar to other brown bears, also called grizzly bears. However, it is significantly larger, weighing up to 1,320 pounds or 600 kilograms and standing about 5.1 feet or 1.5 meters tall at the shoulders when standing on all fours. Females, called sows, are typically 20 to 30 percent smaller than males, which are referred to as boars. In contrast, most mainland grizzlies weigh approximately 250 to 790 pounds, or 115 to 360 kilograms, about 40 percent lighter than Kodiak grizzlies. This population of isolated grizzly bears occurs in a small part of the world. Specifically, they are found throughout the Kodiak archipelago, a remote series of islands in southwestern Alaska. The largest island in the archipelago is known as Kodiak Island. It is the second largest island in the USA and is considered the heart of the Kodiak Bears range. Within this range, Kodiak Bears don't aggressively defend territory the way many other grizzly populations do. Also, their home ranges are among the smallest of all brown bears. This may be a result of the uniquely productive coastal area these bears occupy. There are a handful of likely factors that have led them to evolving this massive size. First of all, one should consider Bergman's rule. This principle states that, generally, populations of an animal found in colder climates will have larger size. Up around 57 degrees north, Kodiak bears are closer to the poles than quite a lot of their close relatives. As the mitochondria in each cell generate energy, some of that energy is shed as heat. The more cells you have, the more heat gets produced. Of course, insulating body fat also adds weight. So, having so much mass is quite helpful for keeping warm in Alaska's subpolar climate. Nutrition is also a major factor. From May through September each year, salmon of various species enter the river of Kodiak and its surrounding islands to spawn. The bears capitalize on this food source, which is extremely high in both protein and fat. When the salmon run is not underway, Kodiak bears usually feed on plants, berries, invertebrates and the like, which are abundant. In fact, the island's ecosystem is so calorically dense that the bears there only range over as little as 100 square kilometers of territory, which overlaps with many other individuals. Large aggregations of them can often be found in the same place, with very little fighting over resources. On the topic of diet, note that they spend part of the year hibernating in their dens. In the build-up to this period, they have to put on a lot of fat, so their maximum weight doesn't necessarily reflect their weight year-round. In fact, they can increase their body mass as much as 30% over the summer. The last factor to consider is the lack of competition. In most of their range, the brown bear coexists with the gray wolf and both species feed on land mammals, salmon, berries and the like. Without a monopoly on local resources, an animal size can be restricted. However, Kodiak bears live on isolated islands where there are no wolves. So, in summary, Kodiak bears live in a cold climate where mass helps them stay warm, have a diet extremely rich in protein and fat live in an environment where food is abundant, put on huge amounts of weight for short annual periods, and don't have to compete with other large land predators for resources, except humans. That is why they are so massive. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.